Hello, this is Paul Matthews. I'm the CEO of Netram LLC, and we are a tier one partner of Quilio. This is the second tutorial. This is going to be a short one. We will focus on ngrok troubleshooting, which will be useful for you at a later stage. The prerequisite of this tutorial is the first tutorial, which is the hello world. In the first tutorial, we installed all the necessary software in our PC and set up our environment. In this tutorial, we will add one more sentence to play to the user, expanding on the earlier hello world example, and then we will do some basic troubleshooting using ngrok. It's a short one, so sit back and relax. So the first step is to start ngrok. Uh, so to start ngrok, we press the Windows R and then type in CMD. Then go to the software directory, which in my case is where ngrok is. You might have it in a different directory. And then type ngrok HTTP port 80. We already have XAMP running. That's XAMP. And we have both Apache and MySQL started in XAMP. Looking back into ngrok, ngrok has now started. This is the external URL for ngrok, which will come in handy. So we'll just copy that one and keep it with us. And now we need to create the file. We need to create the XML file, just like we did last time. To do that, we use the notepad editor. This was our previous example. We just simply copy that old example and create a new one. And here we are going to add one more sentence. To add one more sentence, we need to add one more say tag and say, nice to meet you. So Trilio is go, first going to say hello world. And then Twilio will say, nice to meet you. And so save the file into tutorial two. And let's save the file as nice.xml. We now have nice.xml. Let's look at looks let's look for this file in the ngrok folder. There we are. We now need to copy this file into Twilio. This is our Twilio console. Go into programmable voice. Select the number. That's the number. And we will change this webhook to the new one and save. We can also add a friendly name. So it's easy to know what these numbers are for. Now, if we go into the second, no, the third tab, which is phone number, we should be able to see all these active numbers. 
And now we can see this number and the friendly name is number for tutorial. So if you have a lot of numbers, I would encourage you to edit the friendly name and use it so you know what each of those numbers are for. Uh, now we can of course make a phone call to this number and let's try that. That was not the number. So I'm dialing that number from my phone. So we just heard hello world and nice to meet you. Let's try again. We try it again, one more time. Nice to meet you. There you go. So that is the output of the call. So now let's look at ngrok and see how we can do some basic troubleshooting in using ngrok. So if we go back to the uh, Windows command, there is another URL that ngrok provides. So if we copy and paste that URL, we can see all the requests and response to this ngrok. So this is a POST request as opposed to the GET request. When we typed in the URL, it was a GET request. So that's a GET request. However, when Twilio requested the URL, it was a POST request. So if we click on that and scroll down, this is the request that Twilio made we can see the account SID, a few other options, the call SID, which is a unique identifier for the call, the caller number, the number that was called, and a few details such as the caller's location, and the country. So that is the request that uh, Twilio sent. We did not use any of those values this is the response that we made back to twilio so it says hello world and then it, it has nice to meet you so this cost twilio to say hello world and then nice to meet you and this can be very handy uh, for troubleshooting and we'll use that extensively in the next few tutorials thank you